Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Now a lot of great games came out in 2020. And you may be wondering, is 2021 going to be a better year? Well today we are going to go through 15 awesome Oculus Quest and Quest 2 games coming out in 2021. So if you enjoyed the video, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel as it lets me know to make more this type of content. Also, I will be announcing the winner of the giveaway for Arizona Sunshine later in this video. But don't worry, to start the year off big we have the giveaway starting today for The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners. And we also have a giveaway for a secret Oculus Quest 2 game. So if you want to enter, it's really simple. Like the video, subscribe to the channel and pick the game you want to enter for by putting either hashtag Walking Dead or hashtag Secret Quest 2 game in the comments below. Well, let's get straight into the video. Number 1. The Climb 2 This is the sequel to the amazing game The Climb, where you are a rock climber, climbing in beautiful locations with realistic climbing mechanics. Although I have smacked my hand on my ceiling a few times due to this game. However, the best part of the game for me are the views. And in The Climb 2, this has actually gone up a few notches, where now you can climb skyscrapers, grand peaks and massive caves. To be honest, it appears the main changes to the game are new maps, so it could have really have potentially been a DLC. Although if the other spot games can make a new version of the same game, then why can't this? We will need to see everything that is new once it's out, but for now it still looks really good. There's even a volcano. The release date is sometime this year, although it was supposed to come out last year, so hopefully it won't be too long. Number 2. The Wizards Dark Times Just to give you a brief overview, The Wizard Dark Times has been designed to make you feel like a badass wizard. And when you're playing it, you will feel even more powerful than Doctor Strange. The graphics in the game are actually very beautiful, but the best part are the spells. They are gesture based, so you actually feel like you're doing them. There are multiple spells such as fireballs, lightning, frostbow, force push and many more. There is a nice variety of enemies to fight through including mini boss battles. This is a linear game, but don't let that put you off, you will have a lot of fun. The Wizards Dark Times comes to the Quest 2 early 2021. Number 3. Baba Yaga no, this isn't a John Wick game, who we all know is the ultimate Baba Yaga. This is actually what you get when you google Baba Yaga, a deformed ferocious old woman there to protect her forest. This isn't really a full game, but rather an interactive experience, ranging around 30 minutes. However, it has got some big time celebrities playing the characters, such as Kate Winslet, Daisy Ridley and Jennifer Hudson. Plus, in the game you will experience multiple different endings depending on the choices you make, which will add to the replayability of the game. This looks to be a great experience for the people that enjoy interactive stories. Also said to be releasing early 2021. Number 4. Area Man Lives Here is another interesting game that is going to be coming out, which reminds me of the movie Source Code, where you need to find out how to stop the train from blowing up, and every time you fail it resets. Here, you join a radio station where a mysterious person calls and you either trust the person and save them, or thwart his plan and let him die. It does sound quite intriguing and very different to the other games, which is great if they can pull it off. It also adds a lot of replayability to get the different outcomes. And speaking to the developers, saving the area man is a lot harder than letting him die. Releasing sometime this year. Number 5. Cosmophobia I just want to put it out there that this game has no relation to the game Phasmophobia. Cosmophobia is an irrational fear of outer space. However, this reminds me of Dead Space but in VR. Cosmophobia is a VR survival horror roguelike about escaping a dying spaceship filled with nightmares. I'm not a big fan of roguelikes but this is actually quite intriguing because the roguelike nature would add an element of terror because you would have to start all over again with nothing and next time the map will be different. Here you will be trapped in a dying spaceship filled with the horrors. You must explore, survive and find your way back to the safety of earth. The monsters will also actively hunt you and you can either fight them with your limited ammo or distract them and run away. This game sounds quite exciting and I'm looking forward to it. Coming in Q1 2021. Number 6. Green Hell VR This is a flat screen game that is getting support for VR potentially similar to how No Man's Sky did. The game is similar to the forest. Here you are in an Amazon rainforest where you have to build a shelter, make tools, weapons and cook food to survive as well as learn new skills and abilities. To be honest it looks very similar to the forest but the main difference that I've noticed is that the forest is more horror driven whereas Green Hell is more about survival and realism and it goes a lot more deeper in that element. However the forest isn't actually on the quest whereas this game is going to be soon and this type of genre feels really immersive in VR so I'm really looking forward to it. The release date is Q3 2021. Number 7. Mare Now this to me looks similar to the game Moss where you guide a small companion through puzzles, but this time you have to protect her as she's just a small scared little girl getting attacked by these weird creatures. 
You are a bird of sorts, tasked to protect her as she goes through the levels trying to fulfill her destiny. These third person games are interesting and can be good when you just want to sit down and play VR but still be able to interact with the world. The game is releasing this month. Number 8. Stress Level Zero's Project 4 Now you may or may not know, but Stress Level Zero, the developers that made Boneworks have also been working on a similar game for the Oculus Quest platform. Now there isn't that much information around this since they haven't really shared anything. But we do know that it will be a physics based game similar to Boneworks. What I do know is that the team at Stress Level Zero are massive VR fans, you can even see that from their channel, and are actually very talented so I'm putting my money on the game being great. It should be releasing sometime this year hopefully. Number 9. Gone. Now this one is way too overdue. Gone is one of those games that you play when you have had a bad day at work, because somebody's gonna get hurt real bad. This is just pure destruction and sadistic satisfaction. The biggest warning I have to give you is keep your TV and your kids as far away from you as possible when playing this game. Otherwise you will have to explain to the school why they have a black eye. You can get really immersed in the game and just swing like a madman or woman, but Gone is fantastic for a stress relief and to get a good sweat on. With no wires attached it will be the most free you will ever feel and everyone will see what you are actually like when you let loose. Releasing sometime this year. Now just before we get to the last few games, I would like to announce the winner of the giveaway for Arizona Sunshine is… Congratulations! Please contact me on my discord to claim your prize. Remember folks, the giveaway for the Walking Dead Saints and Sinners as well as the Secret Quest 2 game is now on. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video and comment which game you want. Number 10. Sniper Elite VR Well if you have played any VR shooter games you may know that snipers are actually one of the most difficult weapons to use. However don't worry. In Sniper Elite VR, it's not just snipers that you'll be using. The game for me is similar to Medal of Honor, and considering Medal of Honor above and beyond is not natively coming to the Quest platform, this is the next best thing. In Sniper Elite VR, there is a full campaign with 18 replayable missions, where you are in southern Italy in 1943, and the fascist forces occupy your homeland. So you will need to use your wit, stealth and all timely weapons to take the enemy down. There is realistic weapon handling and brutal kills with the signature kill camp Sniper Elite is known for. Currently there is no exact release date but it's said to be coming soon this year. Number 11. Traffic Jams VR This is a cool and quirky game to play with your friends or family. Here you are directing traffic but you aren't pressing a button. You actually need to make the hand gestures to be able to do it. The game can get really chaotic especially when you have destructive friends playing trying to make your life a lot more difficult. I think these type of party games are great for VR as a whole as it lets everyone in on the action. The game should be coming in Q1 this year. Number 12. Warhammer Age of Sigmar Tempest Fall So we have another installment of Warhammer in VR. However this doesn't appear to be the sequel for Warhammer Battle Sister which I know had some downfalls. Plus this is a different developer. Whereas Battle Sister was exclusively on the quest, Warhammer Age of Sigmar is also on PC VR. So my hopes are still quite high. Since these are the same developers as the Wizards 1 and 2. So they are experienced at making VR games. Although I'm hoping the experience isn't as linear as their previous games, but the chances are there probably will be. Right now not much is known about the game other than it will be a full story based campaign with RPG elements and will be releasing sometime in 2021. Number 13. Wraith The Oblivion Afterlife Now I'm excited for this one as I hate horror games in VR but I love good quality VR games. Afterlife is a VR horror game set in the world of darkness. Developer has been making horror games for a while and they have created a whole universe where monsters like werewolves, vampires live among people. In this game however, you are a wraith trying to find out who killed you. This is an interesting concept and I for one am looking forward to playing it, until I'm too scared to carry on. Afterlife should be coming out in Q1 2021. Number 14. Ven VR Adventure Now this is a single player platform. It seems to be a similar game to Moth. Considering, in Vien VR Adventure, you are also controlling a cute little companion who actually does all the work. It seems like you can also interact with Ven by stroking his head although they haven't really shown much more interaction so we will need to wait and see. But you are supposed to team up with and help Ven, so I'm hoping there will be a lot more involvement. The game actually looks similar to Crash Bandicoot where you are jumping over obstacles, breaking boxes and all of the other platformer type stuff. Ven VR Adventure seems to look quite good graphically as well, so I'm looking forward to coming out. The release for the Quest version is Q2 2021. Last but not least, number 15, Swarm VR. Have you ever thought about what Spider-Man would be like with guns? Well, Swarm VR is exactly that. Here you will get to swing around like Spider-Man, but you will have guns at your disposal. According to the developers, Swarm is a fast-paced arcade-style grapple shooter with quick sessions. 
which means you should be able to pick up and play and just have a quick game. I'm hoping there will be different weapons and abilities to keep the combat engaging, and maybe even a story. But we have not heard anything about this so far. The release date should be Spring 2021. Well, there you have it. 15 awesome games that will be releasing on the Oculus Quest and Quest 2 in 2021. If you enjoyed the video, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also remember to enter my giveaway by subscribing, liking the video and commenting either hashtag walking dead or hashtag secret quest 2 game. Well thanks for watching, have a great day, stay safe and see you next time.